Xavier Rosé is a mountain creature. His favorite thing is fine powder snow, especially above his hometown in Verbier, where for many years it took part in its famous extreme free ride competition. After ending his career as a professional snowboarder, he decided to embark on a totally new adventure. I know the mountains, I know the cold, uh, I'm someone very social, and I wanted to do um, the opposite, uh, being alone uh, on an island by myself uh, and try to survive uh, for 300 days. That's the, the idea of the, the expedition. For this extreme adventure, he chose Tofua, a desert island in the South Pacific, where he recorded his experience with a small video camera. The footage has now become a documentary film. I decided to go on this island to, to have time for myself and also to discover uh, who I am, really, and also to have a look on the, on the society, uh, which what's our real motivation, why we're doing things. The volcano in Tofua is still active. Close to its crater, Xavier could feel all its energy. La planète Terre vit, hein? C'est pas juste une boule ronde qui, qui, qui voyage dans l'espace. To survive in the wilderness, he had to be self-sufficient. At the beginning, most of its time on the island was spent searching for food. At first, he only ate coconuts and roots, which had an unwanted laxative effect. So he expanded his diet to include winkles. Slowly, he became more skilled at fishing, but still it was a rare treat. He then decided to build a trap in the ground to see if he could catch any prey. What he found in a hole wasn't something he was going to eat. The, the pig I get, uh, when, when I get it, it was too small. It was very tiny pig and I couldn't eat it because it was no... Um, no meat. And then, uh, then I took it, uh, and I, I give uh, some food to the pigs, and be it becomes my friend. And after one week, um, this, the pig was following me everywhere, all the time. And um, in the night, the pig always wanted to sleep uh, next to my head. And uh, yeah, it becomes a real good friend because I was not alone anymore. I had someone. The, the hardest part was uh, loneliness, because I had nobody to talk to, no other contact, uh, and that was hard. And the second hardest thing was the mosquito. Oh, ouais, soleil plus moustique, c'est clair, je... Faut remettre le t-shirt, quoi. C'est clair, je serais mieux à torse nu, là, hein, mais... Le soleil qui est super violent, plus les moustiques qui te, qui te piquent partout, c'est l'horreur. Donc t-shirt et pantalon de mise tout le temps quoi. After 300 days of this, and with a few surprise encounters, Xavier Rosé came back home, to the joy of his family and friends. came back after the 10 months of my expedition, I realized that society didn't change. But, but I've, I've changed in 10 months, and I see that people are, are, are running all, all the time, running after the money, running after, after the time, and we don't, we don't take the time to live for a, a real life just for us, and that's a shame, I think, a little bit. The snowboarder can still go fast on the slopes, but he has now learned the pleasure of slowing down, and that sometimes being alone can be a good thing too.